Welcome back to Excel 2013 Dashboard Design. In Section 6, we'll be adding interactivity to our dashboard. In this section, we'll start by implementing slicers, then we'll work on customizing them to match our theme, then we'll employ timelines in order to slice our data by certain time ranges, then we'll utilize hyperlinks to link between worksheets or external data, and finally, we'll cover setting up drop-down lists and connect them to your dashboard. So if you remember from our sample dashboard, slicers are the controls that allow us to filter our data dynamically at the click of a button. They become popular since they were released in Excel 2010, since they have the ability to display all the options instead of burying them in a drop-down list. So let's get started making these in our own workbook. So to make a slicer, we'll go up to the Insert menu and go over to the Filter section and click Slicer. We're presented with all the connections in our workbook as well as our data model. We're going to choose Data Model and then our workbook data model. We'll click Open and then this lists all of our connected fields that we set up in the last few sections. So let's start by setting up our country slicer. So we'll click on temp order detail more fields and go with country region code. Let's click OK. So this list is built dynamically from our database. And what we're going to need to do though is to tie it to the pivot tables that are underlying our dashboard. So we'll go up to Report Connections, and we'll check all of our boxes for all of the pivot tables that are related to this data field. We'll click OK. And then we can select data by our country or multiple countries. And our dashboard adjusts and updates based on that. Let's move this one all the way over to the left here. Now we'll make the product category and subcategory slicers. Clicking Slicer, Data Model, Tables in this workbook. And then under the Order Detail tab again, we'll choose Product Category and Product Subcategory. Click OK. Both of these slicers now pop up. So we have to link them the same way by clicking Report Connections and choosing all of the pivot tables that we'd like them to connect to. Same with subcategory. It's already connected since we um, imported them together as a group. So now we can select if we just want the bikes to show up for everywhere but Australia and the US. This is what we've got. Looking at just bike stands we can select that if we'd like. We have complete control over the data that we view. So now that we've added these slicers, in the next video we'll look at how to customize them to make them match our dashboard theme.